All right, uh, let's load up here, get all back together, and then we can uh, continue on from where we were last time. I think I was about to, yeah, I was planning to start the whole, uh, not exactly outcast quest, but the, uh, it is the outcast quest, but it's really the, more the anchorage quest. Uh, do I want to use the ripper? can if I need to. So anyways, folks, we are back with our playthrough as uh, my kind of self character here in uh, Fallout uh, New Vegas. Well, Tale of Two Wastelands specifically, but yes. Why am I doing this? Go to the baseball bat. I don't want to go to the... Uh, I don't want to go to the Ripper just yet. Kind of saving the Ripper for when I, like, need it. Uh, good news, got a little bit of Hydra there. I do need to fix my whole, uh, addiction that I have. I don't know if I can do that at the outcast camp that we're going to, though. Also should hopefully have... well, it did work, so, uh... have my, uh, Discord notifications with Streamcord uh, fixed again. I... Should have what looked into fixing it like earlier, but uh, I don't know. I, I've been neglecting it, but I've also kind of oh, overcovered. Shit, go. Um, I guess I've just been waiting to get into the mood for streaming again. I think that's part of it. Uh, all right. Uh, take a Nuka Cola. And we'll take a dirty water. We actually have a lot of dirty water here. Might as well take two of them. I can deal with uh, dropping off the stuff when I get to the place. Hello, Mr. Teddy Bear. Should auto save, so I shouldn't have to worry about saving, exiting here. Uh, all right. You got a death wish? Walking through a war zone? Listen, local. If you want to be of use, help us clear the mutants between here and our base camp. If not, stay the hell out of our way. Sure, I will. Uh, see what I can do. It's a war zone. Ow, pain. Got him. Uh, do we have a laser rifle here? I have a laser pistol, but not a laser rifle. That's disappointing. Uh, so be it. Grab the baseball bat. I can use that to repair what I have. Uh, fixing things. Do you get a perk for that? I don't think you do. No. I wish, like, all the little achievements in New Vegas here offered some kind of perk. I'm sure there's probably a mod for it, but instead you just get some of them. No. Assault rifle. Uh, I can grab that. Uh, grab the rest. It's probably a bad idea. Let's take another dirty water. And since we're actually at a good point, we will save. Ooh, 
These guys are pretty good. Oh dear. Oh, 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 oh. I want to get this little, uh, first aid box here. Uh, just dirty water. That's disappointing. I'll forget it then. I don't need more dirty water. I need some packs. Also, I think one of the, uh, Brotherhood... Or, well, the, uh... Brotherhood Outcast guys just went down. Oh, maybe he just went to the... You can't kill us all! Got him! Oh god, the radiation! I feel like I always try to just jump over there and there's an easier way to get there. Um, nope, that's not it. How are you supposed to get to this area? I think I normally, like, just jump over here and then jump there, but I missed the jump. Ah, whatever. We're not gonna focus on it. So yeah, this week has been uh, relatively uneventful at work. Nothing too exciting. You know, we're, we're still low on dealers, we're still... There's still a whole bunch in class, though, which is a good thing. Uh, let's go back to this. Okay. I don't like how there's such a big difference between the view here on what you're directly looking at and then uh, the view in, in uh, first person. Wait, seriously, where did these guys go? Okay, they're out there. Is it down here? Oh my god. What am I... <laughs> gosh dang it. <laughs> I feel like I'm a moron right now by not being able to figure out. Just follow what says exit? Oh, okay, just follow the exit sign apparently. All right, local. Mind explaining what you're doing here? Uh, I heard your radio signal and thought I'd uh, come by, lend a hand. How the hell did you hear my signal? It's not broadcast on a standard frequency. Oh, I see. You've got one of those wrist-mounted computers. Well, well. Isn't that interesting? Yes, it's mine, and before you ask, no, you can't have it. Slow down there, kid. I'm not asking for it. I think, though, that you want to talk to Protector McGraw. Head on inside. I'll let him know you're coming. Marill Yeah, we took care of him. Listen, I'm sending down a low. You want to talk to this one? What the hell is going on up here? Oh, that guy up there. It was all quiet here for a moment. Oh my god. Just die so the damn turret quit firing. Oh, I didn't get any experience from that. Alright. Uh let's go inside. that 
Hey, you. Keep your weapons holstered, your hands to yourself, and your mouth shut. Follow me. I love how Sibley just sounds so much, so much like a raider. It's like a big broadcast signal like that he is going to betray you. thing about Bethesda games is moving at the same speed as NPCs. I mean, at the very least, I'm doing this with a controller and it's a little bit more manageable. If I was doing this on um, mouse and keyboard, it just, like, never matches what their speed is, even when you are on a uh, walk. Like you asked. Thank you, Defender. Give us a moment, please. Sir, I'm going to say again that I don't like this idea. Noted, Defender. That'll be all. Yes, sir. So you're the one Morel sent down. I'll be perfectly honest. I'd trust a Wastelander to shine my power armor, and even that's pushing it. But you do have that computer there on your wrist. Hmm. I can see now that Morel made the right call. Maybe you can be useful after all. So, my pit boy makes me useful, and you need me, my help because of that. Um... I hope we're talking helpful, useful, and not tasty useful. <laughs> you know what? Like, I know part of me would say this, but also part of me would kind of like to say this as well, because, you know, this is my first interaction with these guys in the power armor, so... Sure, who wouldn't want to help out surly guys in scary armor? Fine, fine, I get it. I'm not trying to intimidate you here, I just need your help. And we can both come out of this better off than we are now. That computer on your wrist there, I need that, and I need you to use it, okay? That's it. No one's going to hurt you. Well, what do you want me to do? Records indicate there's some high-value tech in this base, but we can't get to it. The armory is sealed by a blast door, and we can't get it open. We're pretty sure anyone who completes the facility's VR simulation program will gain access. But it requires a certain interface. Unfortunately, we don't have one. You do, right there on your wrist. I need you to go into the simulator and complete that program, which will unlock the armory. You'll get a share of the gear, of course. Uh, so it's a computer game. I get it. Sounds like fun. Well, it's not. It's a hyper-realistic military training simulation of the liberation of Anchorage, Alaska from Chinese communists. This is heavy combat. Safety protocols off. That means you die in the sim, your body goes into massive cardiac arrest. Sim death. Real death. You're still listening, so I'm going to assume you're interested. But time's wasting. Sibley can take you to the pod. Olin will get you briefed. If you want to walk away, you're free to leave. My men won't stop you. Ooh, I can take this laser pistol here. Yoink! use it to uh, repair that there. Maybe I should go for energy weapons when I eventually do go to uh, go through the simulation. And we'll use this opportunity to grab any of this stuff though. Blood packs useless. Uh, I know there's the whole vampire guys and all that. For some reason I haven't I haven't started that quest. I thought I've looked into trying to start that quest in Tale of Two Wastelands, but maybe I'm not doing the stuff right for it. I know you need cannibalism, if I remember correctly. Knock, knock, Olin. Got a new best friend for you. What? Yep. Let's hope you treat this one better than the last guy, huh? <laughs> Go to hell, Sibley. You know that wasn't my fault. Sure, whatever. Just make some progress, okay? We're all looking to get out of here. Fine. Then get out and let me do my job. You're here to help? 
Fine, then put this on. Get in the chair, and we'll run the simulation. Uh. Hey, look, I'm just trying to get more information. Fine, hurry up then. What do you want? Uh, is there anything really useful here that we need? I don't think there is, actually. Eh, I'll get to First it. First, you need to put on the neural interface suit, and then you can get going. All right, neural interface suits. Which, why does it appear like that for some reason? Yeah, DR do, does go up with it, so. Oh. In we go. Honestly, I almost would like something like this compared to like the VR goggles. Because having tried VR myself, it's a little it's a little much. But then again, probably in this, be the same issue, same nausea and all that. I thought you were gone. Hope the other guys made it. I don't think their patrol spotted us coming in, so at least we still have the jump. You still have your gear, so I'm gonna let you make the call. You can go in quiet, but guns blazing. We'll still meet at the rendezvous on the inside of this plane. Then we'll blow those artillery guns to hell. Just watch yourself. Reds up here don't take prisoners. Good luck. Alright, so let's reset some of our uh, stuff here. Trench knife there, and the silenced pistol there. Actually, I just need to hit him a few more times. But yeah, I've ever since this uh, little simulation came out, I've always seen it as the means to uh, really make the um, lone wanderer here become a much more effective uh, fighter. Because otherwise it's like, you know, how did he become capable of taking on Enclave soldiers and all that? Uh, where is this guy? Oh, over there. I see. Ow, oh, pain! Pain! The sniper rifle. You know, being a simulation, I figure in here we can use vats as well. Oh, who or where are they firing at me from? There you are.
And those are the things that get your channel demonetized while doing a game like this. Where the head just goes kaboom. <laughs> but hey, I'm not I'm not doing this for monetization, I'm doing this for fun. Also, believe it or not, I have actually fired a gun before. Um, back when I was in RTC, uh, Reserve Officer Training Corps. Well, Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps, because this was the high school variant, not the uh, college variant. Um, we actually did some uh, rifle training or whatever, and I just barely qualified for a medal my, I want to say my freshman and sophomore years. My junior year, I got like the mid-grade one, and I was hoping to get the uh, top grade one maybe in my senior year. But then they canceled the program like across the whole US because there were a couple, a couple different people that had gotten injured um, from, from using rifles. I don't think anyone was killed, um, but because it happened probably at multiple different locations, they just like scrapped the whole program and then reassessed it. And now I think they only use air rifles um, in GROTC. Because the ones we had were actual rifles, they just had very small uh, like bullets. I don't know what the caliber was, because I'm not I'm not a major gun person. So I can't tell you like what caliber it was or anything like that, but certainly small enough that if someone was hit by it, like in those instances where people were injured. Assuming they didn't go through anything major. Which, again, they're rel they were relatively small bullets, so they probably wouldn't. Um, you'd probably survive being hit by it, I would imagine. I feel like I'm missing something here. Let me save here. I'll just reload if I go down there and I didn't miss anything, but I feel like I missed something. that Get through here uh let's check the local map cave outpost uh, maybe not maybe we're good rifle over here. If I can target these things properly. So one bad thing about using controller is you don't quite get that precise targeting for uh, picking up certain items and all that. But I don't know. I, I honestly enjoyed doing controller um, in uh, like Fallout from like Fallout Three through uh, Fallout Four and all that. I prefer controller over mouse and keyboard. Yeah, I know there's a whole thing of intel that you can eventually get going through all of this. 
I'm trying to remember what is the bonus you get for doing all of that. I think there is something. It might just be like explosives, which isn't something I'm really like focusing on for this playthrough, but eh, we'll see. We'll see if I can remember where all of the uh, intel and that stuff is. If I miss it, I won't go back to focus too much on it. God damn, this place is swarming with reds. I almost didn't make it. Uh, let's cut the chatter. We've got some guns to destroy. Roger that. So, what's the situation? We clear to blow the hell out of this place? Uh, we should be. Let's go. I got you six. All right. Um. So the Gauss rifle, I think, might do a little bit more damage. So it might be a little bit more useful. Whoa! Watch your step near those ledges. Where'd you go, little soldier? Was a transmission. Ah, here's the intel. All right, first of ten. Ugh. I thought there were only like five. Maybe there's five in the second section. Maybe I don't know. we already crossed it once you just didn't hit your little area to trigger that bit of dialogue Sites hardcore no oh cinematic kill cam. We're just gonna turn that off. We don't need that.
Honestly, maybe I'll just stick with melee. Only the issue is just getting up close to uh, be able to do the damage, but. Alright, um, so we have that. We have this. Is there another place over here, though? Another field storage. And there's all these little holotapes that pretty much describe the journey of this uh, one soldier. He starts out all like gung ho, ready to go, all that wonderful stuff. And then as things are going, he uh, realizes how horrible the war is. I think he gets captured and tortured at one point too. Found. Okay, Liberty Prime. Saying the only good commie is a dead commie. <laughs> Honestly, it's kind of disappointing that we don't actually get Liberty Prime in this uh, simulation. Since Liberty Prime was used, I believe used at... Uh, Alaska. Yeah. Because he talks about... Well, Liberty Prime does talk about Alaska at a certain point. I do have the skills to do this, maybe. Uncovered, no. Beginning, no. Uh, so it is something with ING. Repairing? Nope. Screw it. I'm just destroying the damn thing. like the little health uh, canisters and all that that are in this simulation. Definitely goes towards helping uh, just make it easier to get through everything here. Ow! Ow! Bang! Oh, I'm out of ammunition. <laughs> Don't mess with the US. Ow. 
Oh, what do you mean? You know, a lot of the stuff that you see in this mission really makes me want a Fallout uh, strategy game. Or like a mod for Command and Conquer Generals set in the Fallout universe. Or maybe something closer to uh, Red Alert 3, maybe? I don't know. Because some of the stuff, well, so like the Chinese in the Fallout universe are a mix between um, kind of what you have in generals, but also they have some elements that are kind of like not as well. Some of their technology stuff. I just feel like the setting does have a lot to, um, a lot to offer for potential uh, strategy games. At least, like, something set, you know, during the Great War. And I mean the overall Great War, not the, uh, not the very short, uh, few minutes of the nuclear part of it. Because, yeah, obviously the nuclear part of it, there's really not much to uh, simulate there. At least the major nuclear part. Because I wonder if, uh, outside of, say, the use of the Fat Man, which we do see in this simulation, although I don't know if it was actually in the, uh, if the Fat Man was actually used in the war. Because obviously this simulation takes liberties with certain things that, uh, so it goes, it goes a little far. <sighs> what do I want to do? You know what? We're going to go for guns. Yeah, that's what I want to do. All right, toughness. There's also commando. Nah. Uh, let's see. Swing for the fences. Ooh. You'll do an additional 10 points of damage while any one or two handed melee weapon is equipped. That's actually pretty good. Uh, super slam all melee weapons and unarmed attacks have a chance of knocking down your target. So that's good for both. Strong back for more equipment. Uh, once we get out of the simulation would be good. <laughs> uh. But thinking about myself. Would I be more like super slam, swing for the fences, or more toughness? I think it'd probably be more toughness, to be honest. Because... Going off of the car accident that I was in last year, um, I held up pretty well. Only had a slight fracture, so you know what, we're gonna do toughness. Actually. I'll do this. And I'll try to do the terminal. I'm only gonna give it like one attempt. Yeah, whatever. that, there's this. Uh, oh, I don't think any of this is important. Oh, 
Ow. Damn. experience for this. Also, for the record, these shells are massive. Like, how are you supposed to move these shells? I'm pretty sure people aren't loading them individually. Lord death, yay! Ow! Ow! I don't know where the attacks are coming from. There's probably more intel here. We've got that. Oh no, it's just the. Let me go back down real quick just to make sure there wasn't something there. Oh, there is. Ooh, Sergeant. gonna bother with the mines or grenades or any of that. Second with the assault rifles working pretty good. I may I'm between guns and more stealth on the next time I level up level up though. Yeah, yeah. So I, was... Let's keep moving. I see you over there. I see your stickiness. Bring presents for you. All right, let's switch out of this because. That will be a bad time if I try to uh, use a grenade with a dragoon right on me. Take 
Ow! It's taking one moment just to observe. I think there's one more piece of intel up here. So we gotta keep an eye out for that. like I missed one of the intels. I don't think they're up here, honestly. Unless they're in this last uh, bunker down here. Yeah, there's that. Pretty sure this just leads back to the uh, place where we came out from. Eh, whatever. Oh. Um. Oh, maybe that's one of the... maybe that's debris from one of the guns? Maybe. Aha! And they all come yeah, down. it looks like that's yeah. what it was. Or is, or whatever. you did taking out those guns. Damn fine. Unfortunately, while you were up there climbing mountains, we were down here getting our butts kicked. The Chinese decided to use our field HQ for target practice and damn near blew us all to pieces. We lost some good men, including my strike team commander, Colonel Patterson. Oh no, not Colonel Patterson. Patterson. <laughs> That's a shame, sir. Damn red bastards. Can't wait to push them all the way back to Beijing. But I didn't call you down here for a pep talk and cigars. You've earned yourself a field promotion, soldier. From this moment on, you're in charge of Patterson's strike team. Yay! Servants, um, what are my orders, sir? There are three hardened targets that stand between us and the Chinese headquarters. That's where your strike team comes in. 
follow me over to the situation map and I'll bring you up to speed. Okay, pay attention, soldier. I'm only gonna go through this once. We've set up our new field HQ down here. The area is pretty secure now that the artillery guns are gone. The first of the three targets we need to handle is their Chimera Depot over here. Be careful on your approach. You're gonna have to get through the enemy camp on the way. Once you breach the perimeter of the depot, you need to take out both of the main fuel tanks. Your second target is all the way over here. The Chinese have set up a listening post set to the side of Callaway Ridge. There are some abandoned mines along the route, so keep your eyes and ears open. It's a great place for an ambush. You need to clear the place of personnel, so we can get our intelligence boys in there to start decoding. Once the first two targets are down, the last obstacle standing in the way is their damn pulse field. You need to cross it, then cause it to overload, so we can mop up the place with the T-51Bs. Let me warn you now. Unless you have some sort of a death wish, I wouldn't even go near the field until the first two targets are down. Lieutenant Morgan will be your eyes and ears for Operation Anchorage, so get everything else you need from him. Uncle Sam's invested a lot of money turning you into a killing machine. Time to pay him back. Dismissed! Uncle Sam and his damn dividends. Lieutenant Thomas Morgan, intelligence and logistics at your service. I point, you shoot. So, you're in charge of Patterson's Suicide Squad, huh? Suicide, suicide Squad? Why do you call it that? Do I really have to answer that? You aren't going after civilian targets, you know. This is the big leagues. Anyway, I'm here to give you a hand with intelligence and logistics. Whatever you need, I'm your guy. Uh, let's see. The straight team. I've never led troops like that before. Don't worry about it. Sergeant Montgomery will be your squad commander, and he knows all the ins and outs of the team. If you need anything, like reinforcements or status reports, just speak to him. So, what else can I do for you before you hit the field? Um, I need some new gear. Can you set me up? Can do. Just use the requisition terminal here in the command tent. Pick whatever loadout you need, and the terminal will dispense a requisition tape. Bring it to the quartermaster officer and you're all set. The government sure loves its paperwork, doesn't it? Uh, and I need... let's see... I think that's... that's... that's all. I think it's time to show those red bastards what the U.S. Army is all about. I've done this before, so I have a general idea. Alright, fire team close assault. Power fist. So the problem with the close assault is it gives you an unarmed weapon, but it doesn't give you a, uh... a melee weapon. Fire team does that. What about heavy weapons? Uh, probably just the fire team then, I think. Although I do get a combat shotgun with the close assault. You know what? Close assault it is. All right, what do we get? Sentry bot, Mr. Gutsy, Mr. Gutsy. Do, do, do. Mr. Gutsy there. Uh, infantryman and Eh, do two infantrymen with the, uh, Mr. Gutsy. Deploy the team. The sergeant wants to speak with you. So apparently you can dismiss the, uh, Mr. Gutsy, but you can't dismiss... What the hell is this guy doing? He's just randomly putting on the helmet. Um, you can dismiss the Mr. Gutsy, but you can't dismiss the regular uh, soldiers. What 
did you need, soldier? I need a. Uh... Let's see. The stuff you have is okay, but I need something with more punch. Hell, you earned a lot of respect with the soldiers for what you did to those Chinese artillery guns. Tell you what, take this extra gear with you. Requisitions be damned. If anyone asks, it fell off a truck. Goss rifle, microfusion. Now, was I supposed to kind of do that before doing Everything this? Appears to be No, I still got the Gauss Rifle. Okay. So we'll put the Power Fist there. Um, combat Shotgun there. Nuclear Pistol there. Sir. Well, looks like we're working together again. Sir, General Chase assigned me to the strike team. And thanks to your promotion, I guess I'll be saluting you from now on. Hmm, we could try this. Enough, there has to be some way to halt this simulation. A passcode or, or something. Simulation? What the hell are you talking about? This is as real as it gets, G.I. And thanks to you, a lot of guys are still burning. Those artillery guns were pounding the crap out of our soldiers. Yeah, I guess I did kind of save the day. Whoa! Listen to this guy. What kind of a role model you expect to be for your men with that kind of hot air coming out of you? I wouldn't even presume to argue with this simulation's AI subroutines. <laughs> subroutines? This is an army gig, not the Navy. You sure those artillery guns going off didn't shake something loose up there? Look, we all want to get through this. None of us asked to be here. We all left things behind when this shit started. Some of the guys out here are falling apart. We need guys like you to keep them focused. Make them think they're gonna get home one day. I suppose. Let's just get through this. Don't worry. We will get through. I'll be there every step of the way to give you a hand. Uh, let's get the st strike team moving, Sergeant. Yes, sir. What are your orders? Uh, well, let's, we'll go for the Chimera Depot. Or actually, the ice camp on the way to the Chimera Depot. Yes, sir. On our way. We'll wait for you by the ice camp. All right. So before I get into that, uh, I will be right back for one moment. So give me a little. And I will be right back. So we're going to head out to this little ice camp here. Um, let's just go for the combat shotgun. Oh dear. We'll avoid looking at the executions over there. Another glorious day in this man's army. Ice camps right around the bend, sir. We're holding up here for the moment. What are your orders? Well, let's attack uh, the ice camp. Yes, sir. We'll attack the enemy at the ice camp. Charge! Ooh, and Mr. Gutsy works pretty well. Casualties, excellent job, guys. Aren't 
there like prisoners you can find eventually around here too? Maybe, maybe so, and maybe that's another way to get intel. I can't remember. All right, Sergeant. Attacking the ice cap as ordered, sir. I'll update you once the objective is complete. Uh, pretty sure the objective is complete, but okay. Oh, apparently there's part two to the ice cap. Ow! Ow! Oh, there's the, uh... Well, I don't know what your... Private Ryan, save all captives in the VR simulation. You! Be saved! Freedom! Let my people go! All that fun stuff. Camp secured, sir. All right, to the Chimera yes, Depot. Sir. On our way. We'll wait for you by the Chimera Depot. I have to say, this little group has done pretty good so far. I'm honestly, well, I was going to say I'm surprised we haven't had drones like this in Warfare, but I guess we kind of have. It's just that they've been aerial drones, they haven't been ground drones. I guess in most instances, probably ground, or not ground, probably aerial drones. You know, suicide drones. Pretty much better guided uh, missiles. In most instances, instances, they're probably better anyways. Because especially if they're a smaller drone, um, once they're in the air and all that, Probably pretty difficult to see them, depending on the uh, conditions and all that. All right, give me a grenade. Grenade. Nope. Failed. Aha! That one worked. All right, let's save. What are your orders for the strike team, sir? Uh, charge. Yes. All right, I'm gonna try punching the tanks. Ow! More intel. Mm. Maybe punching the tanks is a bad idea. Oh, you guys are gonna get blown up here. Run! Abandon ship. Also, like, what is it with the tanks having this holding? 
Like, they have this extendable, like... I don't know what this is. Is that for drilling or something? I don't know. And there goes, like, all of our reinforcements. Hopefully that did well enough to take take him out. It's all been good. Now what is... Oh, that's... The, uh... Simulation ending there. I'm gonna move to take out these guys that are around here. I don't know if I actually hit them there, but <laughs> I'll take whatever whatever I've gotten. Grab more grenades because those have actually been useful. And we'll blow this thing. Yeah, honestly, most of our forces survived all of this. It, it was just, uh, when we planted the explosive, it pretty much wiped them out. There it goes. Nice work. They've been rolling those chimeras all over us for months. Good to see them out of commission for a while. I'm going to order the strike team back to the field HQ. See you there. I don't need to bother with you. I think I just got to talk to Montgomery. All right, boys. I'm going to make you famous. Oh, Get here's the... Into a They're making the statue. Okay, that's it. Just like that. Old stuff. Next. The Capitol Post thanks you. Who yeah. Knows, I want to be in the photo. To a statue. All right. You boys, try not to die out there, okay? God bless you. And God bless the U.S. of A. What are your orders for the strike team, sir? Uh, let's see. Radio to base that we need replacements. Uh, let's go for a sentry bot. It's on its way from the. And then infantryman, and as you were. What are your orders for the strike team, sir? All right, head to the mining town. Yes, sir. Sentry bot, I hope you don't uh, encounter any trouble out there because uh, you're just rolling along.
Oh no, he's gonna get ten shots. Team, charge! Go, sentry box, go! Dang missiles. Maybe it was just the uh, little bit of intel. Strong feeling our infantrymen died. I'm just being a very bad shot right now. Again, I'm uh, pretty sneaky. And, uh, be quiet when I'm coming up on people and spook them and all that. You were the lucky one because you're being rescued by me. The mining town is now. Sir. All right, we need replacements. Send us a grenadier, even though I don't think they really do too much. Alright, to the listening post. Even though the sentry bot is like about to die, because... yeah. Honestly, I don't know... I don't know what it is, but the sentry bot does not hold up very well. The Mr. Gutsy did well until he was blown up by the, uh, by the fuel tanks. Wait. 
killing my grenadier. No, I think you did. Oh, nope, they're still alive. It's over, Anakin. They have the high ground. That's where the sentry box is beneficial. We need another infantryman and then attack. Also, I have like not a lot of health here. So if we have to deal with more snipers, which of course there are, it's going to be a bad time. And of course it's like, oops, all snipers. That was pretty good use of that. All right, into here. Really, nothing. Nothing but an out of order uh, toilet here. in video games. Ooh. There's a whole uh, thing for the simulation. Oh god. Hopefully that was all the snipers. I will give credit. The whole idea of having stealth enemies attacking you here. It is kind of neat. Definitely kind of different. I think Fallout 4 has that too with a few. Yeah. Because there's what? There's, I think, a version of a Deathclaw. There's a version of a Saltron that can do stealth attacks. And I think there's like one other enemy that can do it as well. Uh, 
I thought there was one more in here. Well, everything seems okay. No! Post the last of them. And the last of the bombing runs on our guys, thanks to you. I'm gonna order our men back to the field HQ. See you there. Yeah, I really feel like I think I missed one of the intel somewhere. Stomping all over us. Time for us to pay them back. Cause like, I know there's one more person to save, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think it's gonna get done. All right, now it's just you and me. Let's go take down the pulse. All right, uh, charge. the way hopefully I don't know if that's the way or is this the way no I think it is a front line I think yeah Into the trenches. Save you, soldier. Thank God. I thought I was a goat. Eight pieces of intelligence. Uh, I still have a feeling I'm not going to get it all. We'll see. Maybe. This was where I always missed the intelligence. Uh, let me save. Because I know there's one piece of intelligence that you get at the very end. Alright, we got 
this Chinese terminal, another decrypted thing. Get some health. That's where we came from. Oh god, not while I'm reloading. Save. Soldier there, we got that. Oh, here we go, we're approaching the uh, bunker. But oh, wait, that's not the way to go. Get your ambush. One time to see if I can get the turret. If not, I'll do it manually. No, locked out. All right, frag grenades deployed. I'm 
I'm looking, I'm looking to see if maybe this is the area where I usually miss the one. doesn't look like an area. Where do I forget? Uh... So I'm pretty sure it's not this little place. But yeah, there's one up there and then, yeah, so I've missed one of the damn intelligence things somewhere around here. Aha! Your powers are useless against me. Now for the power armor guys, eh, not so much. Why are you not working? Um, okay, you just teleport in there and that works. Because, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure the last intelligence thing isn't inside, uh, it isn't inside that place. That's really just the boss battle. Well, 9 out of 10. Oh well. I tried. But I knew going in that I was going to forget it because I always forget one... One damn intelligence when I'm doing this. Like, only time I've ever actually gotten all of the intelligence. Um, I had to look it up. And I can't remember when I looked it up what I looked up to find it. There they go. They just get fed up with it, go to the Mervs, and attack. All right, we're gonna save this just in case we uh, go down in combat against the general. You will be crushed by the might of the Chinese army. You've already lost, General. Don't throw away your dignity. You will never take me prisoner. Oh no, he's committing Sudoku. Or Sapuku, or whatever. Whatever it's called, exactly. And then, bam, the sim simulation ends. Stand down. Uh, that's it. I was just starting to have fun. This concludes the simulation and this portion of your training. But if you're thirsty for more, soldier, your commanding officer can oblige. You've shown that you've got what it takes. There's a possible promotion in your future if you keep your head on straight. Good work, soldier. When you exit the simulation, report to your superiors for debriefing. Dismissed. Hooray. You've received the specialized training needed to move in any form of power armor. And we'll take all these little logs here. Uh, let's save. Because they're going to go and like murder everyone here. Good job making it through that simulation. All you have to do now is open the armory. And as agreed, you get your share. Feel free to take whatever you want. 
If our records are right, there's plenty for all of us. Thanks. I guess. Unlock. All right. So many things that we want to take. Ah, oh, alas, there's only so much we can actually take. Um, so right now I'm at 219. Uh, grab Jingwei's shock sword. Chinese stealth armor. So it's treason then. <laughs> no, you're not going to get away with giving up the tech we risked our asses for. All right, let's put on the power armor. Activate our. Uh, well, let's see. Do we go straight for the Ripper? I think we might want to go for the Ripper, actually. take more sneak right now or do we go for more melee weapons uh, you know what I kind of want to go for more sneak actually and we'll make use out of the uh... all right so we got let's see night person when the Sun is down a night person gains plus two to both intelligence and perception up to a maximum of ten hmm tempting because I am a night person nerd rage uh... Do I have Nerd Rage? Yes. Kinda tempting. Uh, Mysterious Stranger? No. Misfortune? No. I don't want to go for strong back. I mean, there is the other level of toughness that's pretty good. Um. Beef obviously has some bonuses as well, especially for the pickpocketing. Uh, so thinking about it. This is always, if there's anything that's like the worst thing in Fallout 3 in New Vegas is trying to determine what perks you want. It's a little worse in New Vegas because you only get the perk every uh, couple levels rather than every level. We're gonna go for strong back. Weapons firing here, damn it. Hey, I reached level 10 with good karma. And I somehow saved McGraw. Usually that doesn't we'll happen. Here. You saved us. Sibley would have had the upper hand if you hadn't been here. We'll be here for a while cataloging all the tech. If you need anything, you come see us. You may not be one of us, but you're the next best thing. Oh, how nice. Good to see you again. Uh, so she can Normally, do repairs. I'd never consider this. Uh, 73, that's not bad. She can repair the stealth armor up, oh, well, only 4% more, unfortunately. Not like a whole lot. 
All right. Um. So, I want to get some outcasts armor. Uh, so see, this is where things get difficult because I don't have like storage around here. I guess there is storage outside of this area though that I can use. So maybe we'll do that. going to do the mines. Alright, I think we got everything that we need. Let's head to the one storage uh, locker. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to just throw all the uh, all the storage stuff just right into um, right into the storage that's outside of here and then uh, I'll head out or yeah I'll head out and then I should be able to come back here later to pick it up A bunch of dead bodies back here. That oh, <laughs> I realize what those dead bodies are now. Those are probably the dead bodies of the people that uh, were previously uh, used in their little experiment or whatever. Because that was kind of like thinking, well, you know, it's not, uh... Alright, we have that. I thought there was, like, an... a more dedicated storage here. Let me... make a save. Well, maybe this is it. Let's see. So we're gonna go to the... We'll do the Chinese stealth armor. Really the best bet there. Weapons. Uh, Chinese assault rifle, throw away. Well, not throw away, but leave. Regular assault rifle. I'm hoping that this place is good storage. And that I don't lose it but I honestly don't know 100% if it is. Um, for the shock sword, can I repair it with a knife or no? No. I'll hold on to the ripper for now. to, let's see, 9mm pistol does 12, 10mm does 16. Honestly, you know what, we'll put all of that away. Uh, same with the combat shotgun for now.
The lab coat, it's only one weight. And plus 10 science. So I might just, uh... I might just hold on to it and just get myself up to 90 signs. All right, ammo. So I need 10 millimeter and energy cells. All right, we got a lot better weight. So with this on, my stealth skill, or my sneak, goes up to 63. Um, because this is a plus 15, I really only get need to get sneak up to uh, 85, rather than a full, uh, full amount, full 100 or whatever. So, oh, my, am I free of, uh, okay. So going through all of that, I was uh, freed of my addiction and all that. Be more Interesting. Careful. I'll take it. go for thief well hmm thief is good for pickpocket as well as for movement speed movement speed would be helpful when sneaking around and where the hell do I go to get out of this place oh over here uh, I'm trying to think what I want to focus on for perks, but we'll, we'll play it by ear. Certainly I could do stuff for more damage. It's something that I could do. Whether or not I want to do that is a whole other story, but we'll see. Oh yeah, I'm happy going through that whole simulation uh, freed me from my addiction to Hydra. Not high enough level to do. Uh, the, well, let's see. Could I do the pit? Uh, I don't know if I'm high enough to do the pit, to be honest. Let's just do some looking around for the moment, and then we'll go from there. But yeah, so going to my idea about vats, uh, my general idea was to get it up to 100 to be able to use it. But I think I'll just do that to 90 since I have Lesko's lab coat. That'll be my uh, excuse for it or whatever. Who is this person? I think it's Raider. 
Either a raider or a scavenger. Raider, I think. Haha. -ha. Okay, it was a raider. Raider Blastmaster. Uh, we'll grab that. The single shotgun really doesn't give us much. Brahmin steak does, though. And do we grab the ammunition? I kind of just want to leave it. Is this a Nuka Cola plant? It is a Nuka Cola plant. Okay. Uh, we may want to check this out. Because Nuka Cola is not a bad means to uh, heal ourselves. At least the basic healing. Probably the worst thing about it is just doing um, healing the body parts. This time I'm grabbing the fission battery. I may look into doing the conversion for uh, energy cells with it. Either that or selling it, one of the two. Although since I'm not really living in the settlements, I don't necessarily have to do that. We'll see. You know, I probably should have looked around to see what areas have safe storage in uh, Fallout 3. The more I'm thinking about it, the more I am thinking maybe I should go to the settlements. Maybe now that I have the whole stealth suit, maybe I'll try it. Try to sneak into Megaton. Oh, no, I don't want the Ripper. I want the Shock Sword. Then. And yeah, I might head to Megaton. At the very least, I can get the, uh, maybe steal, uh, the key from, uh, what's, what's his face? Lucas Sims, is that it? I think that's it. The sheriff. Steal that. From there, I can, uh... Get the bobblehead. Maybe talk to Burke about blowing up the town. Research terminal. Nuka Cola clear with only minimal loss of life. It really is both amazing and sad how the corporations in Fallout are depicted. Amazing in just how utterly corrupt they are. Sad in that there's actually quite a few parallels to real world uh, corporations. Because, like, look at what's been going on with the railroad industry in like East Palestine, uh, what was that, Ohio? I think it was Ohio, yeah. Continuing protocol.
you know, pretty much turn the entire town uh, uninhabitable. I actually wonder what how things look there nowadays. Because we really haven't heard much since the, the whole thing happened. Administration. All trespassers. Alert. Oh no, nuke alert. alerts. Trespasser. Failure. Spurred. No, oh, he's found me. Just, oh shit! All right, nuclear beats. Well, regular on its own gives plus five, so uh, twenty-five health. That's not bad. So if we can expand upon. setup is working pretty good for taking out the new clerks which is good because uh they're not the most friendly uh critters all right flash uh slave no so it's not la not la coats it's two of them. Uh, allowance replenished. All right. So it's not L A L O. Close is no. Uh, grade. Uh. So it maybe ends with an E and has a middle A. Slave. Grass? Or brass, I mean? Let's see. So close. So the S match is there. Um, but there's two in grade. Oh, bra uh, Yeah, okay. Hey, I was able to figure out the damn thing. Alright, maintenance routine. Hopefully the thing doesn't come to murder me. That the poor little protectron is going to do much. Unless the nuclear gets stuck on the stairs. You'd think the protectron would have worse. A worse outcome on stairs than a uh, nuclear, but then again, I'm not entirely sure how crabs perform on stairs. 
Oh god, spicy water. One thing that's weird to me is I don't understand how Oh god, it's a hunter. It's a hunter. Oh. Oh. Um, I don't understand how the rads are so much worse in the water for the soul survivor than they are for the lone wanderer. No, that one doesn't have any. Oh, oh god, the pain. No! Dang it all. This armor provides no protection. Alright, I'm not even going to bother with the damn protector on this time. Our reach with this thing is pretty decent overall. Probably the biggest issue is just the fact that, uh, um... The darn, uh, new clerks. Well, the hunters. I think probably because they're bigger or something. Oh. Something makes the hunters a bit more, uh, scary. Alright, we're past those two. Let's save. I do have mines that I can use. As long as I don't blow myself up with the mines. Oh god. Run! Run! There's one mine. There's the other. He's still coming. Why does it sound like there was another one up here? Ow, what is... Why do you have so much reach? Oh god. was. Yes. Alright, if this works, well, we'll feel much better.
Radiation poisoning already? Oh god. Don't let him get too close. That got him. Uh, can't reach that, so oh well. Let's use some um, rat away. Not as much rat away as I thought I had in my inventory. He runs. Let's try the laser pistol. Mm, not, not performing very well at all. Thought it would have done a little bit better because it has the damage uh, threshold negative. Well, it was good enough. And that works for me. I was hoping to find a bigger stash of, like, Nuka-Cola, Nuka-Cola Quantum, something like that. What I've been finding has been very disappointing. Honestly, I kind of like this more without the whole cinematic camera. Because every time you kill a, someone in stealth, it does the whole thing, and it just kind of gets in, gets in the way. One frag mine left. Ugh. And lots of... Oh god, I've been found. Oh god. Oh god, no! Murdered! Well, uh, let's see. Stealth boy. Get the full stealth going here. Actually, I think. Do I have to be in? Oh no, I do have to actually be in stealth mode. The effect stealth field, what exactly does that do, I wonder? Because I don't think it acts like as a group field. Because I don't think it affects like 
if you have a bunch of people on uh, in your group that it provides like stuff to them or anything like that. Is it just a visual effect? Uh, maybe. Because, it, it well, visual in the sense of visual in-game, but also to the NPCs, perhaps. Because there is, like, a level of, uh... interaction that NPCs have with, like, visual objects. You know, line of sight and all that. So I figure if they have, uh... If you have, like, stealth field going, it probably gets rid of, uh... Makes it much more difficult to see. Probably like how um, the Chameleon ability worked in Oblivion, thinking about it now. Because Chameleon was a whole separate thing from, say, uh, actual, the actual, like, sneak skill. Although Chameleon could definitely be broken, because if you went up to, like, you need to be at 100% or maybe just 80%, uh, Chameleon is... Alert! Alert! Trespasser detect multiple failures Yeah, I can't remember what level you had to be at, but whether it was 100 or 80, I don't think it was anything below 80 if it was. Um, you'd be able to pretty much go by and attack anyone and whatever and they just wouldn't detect you at all. Now another thing that I wonder about. Well, actually no, never mind. I was gonna say the chance of sneak attack criticals, but I forget. Sneak attack criticals are 100% chance. I was going to say, does luck affect that, but no. They're 100% chance. I just had to think about it for a moment. Yeah. At least I think they're supposed to be 100% chance. That actually, when I attacked him there, they actually didn't say that it was sneak attack. Hmm. I don't know. I thought that would have been... Also, did we seriously, like, go through all of this and not get any Nuka-Cola? I want a Nuka-Cola! We found, like, what? Two bottles and that one thing and that was it? Seriously. We did all of that for nothing. Unless there was some in the uh, offices, but I don't think there was. Yeah, because this was this plant area, which is just empty bottles. What the hell? Oh, most disappointed. So, anything in particular that we need, that we should go for now? Girder Shade. Uh, wasn't that the place we were hearing people talk about, but I don't think there was anything special? Girder Shade, Girder Shade. What was Girder Shade? I don't remember what it was. Do I have a quest for it? I do not. So, let's go over there and see what we got. to look at our special stats. So if I went for Night Person to get the bonus to Intelligence, that's plus two there. 
I'm actually thinking about it. I think I do want to go towards uh, Megaton. Just to get... Again, just to get the... Uh... Oh dear. I just want to get the uh, Strength Bobblehead. I want to say it gives carry weight. He's got a turret set up here. What do you need? Or lady. Uh, let me look at for repairs. Well, nothing that. Well, the silenced 10 millimeter. I guess we can repair. Uh, everything else, I'm just gonna leave be. Oh wait, Girder Shade, I think, is where you take the naughty nightwear. Maybe that's what it is. All right. Uh, sell both Raider armors. Get some of our money back here. And we have some cartons of cigarettes we can sell as well. Ooh, I can get that Tales of a Junktown jerky vendor. Usually you don't find uh, books for sale. That's actually not bad. Just in case I need it, I will grab the doctor bag and we'll sell the rest of the cigarettes. A pleasure doing. I'm trying to think if there's anything else once we get to Megaton that I have to really deal with. Um, as far as I can think of, not really. Again, I'm not going to do the whole Wasteland Survival Guide stuff, so. Oh, er, that's what I gotta do. Because, yeah, even though... Even though I said I was gonna avoid major settlements, I think I should do Tenpenny Tower. Just because it's really not another good location that I can get set up at. There's not, like, any sort of, uh... Oh, shit! What the hell is that? Seriously? I don't know what these people are doing. Oh, jeez, now you're coming. Oh, probably, probably a grenade rifle. It was a grenade rifle. Yeah, those suck, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, ow, those hurts. Let me, uh, do that, 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 that. Take the metal armor.
Uh, grab the 10 millimeter. I think I can use that to repair my uh, my silenced one. I guess we're going to be limping over to uh, Megaton. Yeah, because thinking about it, Canterbury Commons, it, there's the one medic guy that visits, but he doesn't visit regularly. And yes, Hydra does work for limbs, but it's not exactly the best. Unless I can craft doctor's bags successfully. Oh, jeez. Oh, and there's like everything broken now. Die. All right, tumbling or stumbling. Uh, B L I N G. Five. We know it, or so maybe we know it's ing. Well, surviving is also five. Allowance replenished, that's something. So, stumbling is five, surviving is five. Summoning, yay! Alright, reconfigure. We get the turret to blow him up. Yes, excellent. Now we just turn the turret off. Heavy incinerator. Ooh. Grab it. All right, metal armor. Get you repaired. DT ten versus stealth armor, which is six. It's really not that big of a difference. Thirty six versus twenty eight on the uh, damage resistance. Yeah, honestly, I may just sell the metal armor. That's really not much of a difference for it to be. What? It's like, what, 35? 30. 30 weight versus... Oh, uh, 30 versus 20. That's really not much of a difference. Uh, trying to decide what to do. See a doggo. Bad doggo. Although I can probably kill it and get a dog steak, which is okay healing, so. Give me your steak. Or eventually your steak anyways. Is it Arafu somewhere over here? Oh, I really can never remember where Arafu is. I know it's on one of the uh, highways. That's that's about it. Uh, although that's Megaton there. Oh, 
god. He's stuck. Bad scorpion. But I can take well twenty-five. Eh, I'll take the poison gland. I think that's actually around the same value for value per weight as the uh carton of cigarettes. Because I think that's like to wait for 40 or to wait for 50? One of the two. Holy, oh. I thought that was a Yaogwai for a moment. I was like, oh shit. No, <laughs> I don't need that. Yeah, there are quite a few nice things you can get from the whole Wasteland Survival Guide thing, but again, I'm, I'm not looking to do it. Unless you can do it after you turn Moira into a uh, ghoul, but I don't think you can. Looking for that special. Uh, let's see. The clothes oh, make the man. No, I don't want. And here are the means to remake yourself. All right, so Raider stuff. Raider Badlands, Raider Blastmaster, Raider Seist. All right, that works. Thanks. What can you do with repair? His repair skill is 86. Holy shit. Uh, well, what we're going to do we're going to repair that. You done. Uh here to buy. Have a look. See if anything calls out to you. And then we'll sell the metal armor. And get most the of those caps back. The bomb is perfectly safe. We promise. The bomb is perfectly safe. Lies. Lies. Wait, I'll no, be I wanna be another newcomer. I wanna be sneaky. Oh, you see nothing. Names Lucas uh, I don't know why, but I like you more. Say nothing. The quiet type, huh? Fine. Might help keep you out of trouble. I hope you're not a weirdo. Got enough of those already. <laughs> Continue to say nothing. <laughs> God, I hope you ain't one of those psychotic quiet types. So, is there anything else I can do for you? Is there more to say nothing? I have to go now. Mind your manners now. All right. Uh, save. While we're here, I want to see. Oh, also have my... I forgot about my tales of a junk town jerky vendor. No. Give. He just took it back. That's that's all he did. Oh, uh, but I don't have enough. Hold on, I'm reloading this. Saves coming, yes. Okay, do I have to just like outright? What I'm gonna try and do. No, oh, run! Run while I have the key! Oh, no, that didn't work. Oh, there you are. Now let's finish this nonsense. I just want... I really should go through and, uh... Into the house. Run, little child. I'm hit. This is our time. Can 
And I still do the whole thing with, uh, whatchamacallit. I mean, I guess we'll find out. If I can talk to Burke or not. By, uh... going to him. So what does the bobblehead give anyways? 25 pounds of more gear. That's pretty good. Alright, people see nothing. Nothing. Go about your business. Move along. I have no idea if, the, if this is going to actually work, but we're, we're going to try it. Still hidden, that's good. God, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been Who do shit we have lately. Here? My, my. Just when I had all but given up hope. My dear boy, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I am Mr. Burke. And you, well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. And makes you a rather valuable individual. Mr. Burke, is it? Please continue. I find myself enthralled. Um. Uh, no, nah, actually, I'm gonna say. It does? Don't you see? You're a free agent. You have no ties here, no interest in this settlement's affairs. Megaton means nothing to you. I represent certain interests who view this town, this. Make a ton as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. If this settlement were to go away, why, who would really care? Certainly not you or I. Um, go on, I'm listening. Gotta be a little discreet here. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little <laughs> motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge constructed for a singular purpose. The detonation of that bomb. You'll rig it to the bomb, then you'll get paid handsomely. What do you say? Hmm. Throw in an extra 500 caps and you've got yourself a deal. Well played. An extra 500 caps, in addition to the base fee when Megaton lies in ruins. Here's the fusion pulse charge. Place it in the bomb. When it's done, meet me at Tenpenny Tower. It's southwest of here, well out of harm's way. You can't miss it. Any questions? Uh, messing with that bomb seems pretty technical. What if I can't do it? Lack the aptitude, you mean. You're not rewiring the thing, just attaching the pulse charge to the detonator. If you get stumped, talk to Leo Stahl. He might have something to help you concentrate. He's got a bit of a reputation. Well, it's time for me to go. Time is wasting. Goddamn radio. Come on, son of a bitch. Tempted to steal Moriarty's key, but nah. 
again, not not really planning to do the main quest or anything like that, so. I'm only here to get myself a house, that is all. Oh, sneak, sneak, sneak. Because the people don't seem to know that I have gone and murdered the sheriff. My weight is 285, why does that seem off? Or maybe that's maybe that's right. Yeah, I think it what I think that is actually right. Cause I think it's it was because it was two ten, then it got strong back for fifty. So that takes it to sixty and then the other a uh, little bit more from the uh, bobblehead. So yeah, that's right. Disregard. I'm gonna make a new save here. Since I've already murdered uh, the sheriff. I mean, I think I can do everything that needs to be done. Uh, I need 25 explosives. So, uh, current explosives. 17. I need something a little bit more than that. Well, let's see. Uh, what's on the menu? Does she have any... Oh. No. Uh, let's see. Leo should be in here. We'll talk to him, but I don't think. Well, goddamn. You're new, right? Name's Leo Stahl. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Uh, I understand you. I. Is that yeah? I understand you have quite a come habit. Damn it! Who told you? I... I mean, I have no idea what you're talking about. It's okay, Leo. I want to help. Help? What's to help? So I'm a junkie. Big fucking deal. It's not like I'm hurting anyone. Um, I never thought about it that way. Can you hook me up? Yeah, I can. Just please, don't tell Andy or Jenny. And don't ask me about it when I'm at the Brass Lantern. I'll only sell to you when my shift is over. Meet me in the water treatment plant if you need something. Oh, well, you're useless. Yeah, honestly, let's talk to Moira. See if she has, um... Because it looks like no one's wiser to what I've done and all that. The child's not gonna fib on me or anything. Moira. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Um. No, I don't want anything to do with them anymore. Anyway, I guess I don't need a foreword. They just get in the way of the real content. But the book's going to be great. You just watch. Uh, let's see. Let me see what you have for sale. What do you need? All right, let's look for aid. Doctor's bag, no. Fixing things, no. That's repair. And, of course, she doesn't have anything of what I was hoping to find. I don't suppose I have it, do I? I have the Chinese Army Spec Ops Training Manual, but I don't think that's it. Urgh. I have to go now. All right, well, let's see. So that gives me a sneak boost. That gives me barter. But I need explosives. Ugh. Mm. 
Well, I guess I gotta do some leveling up to get my explosives to where they need to be. So I guess continue on towards Girder Shade. Either get the explosives to where I need it to be, or at the very least, um, upgrade the, uh, what am I trying to say? Not upgrade. Find the uh, explosive uh, skill magazine. Oh dear, Robo Brain. Let's save. You know, Robo Brains definitely make you wonder if uh, we might eventually reach a point of being able to do something like that. I guess theoretically it's possible. And probably stuff like Elon Musk's. Uh, Neuralink or whatever, probably the pathway to doing it. Yeah, well, I'm quite good at killing things too. I have to say, one thing. The new Vegas voices for a lot of the robots, I don't like. I much prefer the, uh, the Fallout 3 voices. I think the Protectrons are okay. They're really not too much of a difference. But, like, the Mr. Handies, Mr. Gutsies, um... Sentry bots, robo brains, they're all rather. The voices for them are much just lower quality, I guess. I don't know if I don't know if my issues is with voice actors or what exactly. But it's just I don't like it as well. Probably one of the few things in New Vegas that are worse, as far as a uh, general gameplay perspective. And even that's really not exactly gameplay, but. Just like traveling the world in general. Although, honestly, I'll say I do enjoy the Capital Wasteland pretty well as, as well. Except for actually going through DC. Because that's a. Just because of the nature of all of the. Allow me to introduce myself. Having to go through all the metro places to get to where you need to go. That kind of sucks. Am I being attacked by a, uh... Yes. A Mr. Gutsy. Run! How many stim packs am I at? 32, okay. Take another one. Come here. Come here. Oh dear. Ow. Ow, the pain. Gotcha. Not gonna tell your mama nothing. I'm gonna tell her you went down like a scrub. What? 
is all of these robots? Actually, do more into uh, energy weapons. I'll be pretty set. Up. So this little meat fruit over here, let's see if it's like regular or if it's uh, crunchy. If it's crunchy, I'm going to leave it. If it's regular, I'm going to take it. I think it's regular. And let's take a look at their stats here. Uh, so not a lot of health. Does help H2O. Let's see, do we have a comparison to the crunchy version? So the crunchy version is a little bit better for food, but it doesn't do H2O, whereas regular does H2O. But I think you can use the, uh... oh, I don't have enough luck. Um, I think you can use the regular uh, in recipes, if I remember correctly. Drainage chamber? Hmm. Let's save where we are now. Just because I'm not entirely sure what we're going to encounter over here. Almost like a little village here. Or maybe like a halfway point of some kind. Because you got a diner, you have what looks to be a former red rocket, so fuel. Mm, I think we'll be okay here. Jury Street Metro Station. Oh, shit! I'm gonna have to use a Hydra. The thing is, when they hit the... When they hit the head, it's pretty, pretty much a necessary thing. Is this the heavy, uh... Oh, the reinforced metal armor. Absinthe, and I'm gonna that. Ooh, this is a bank, I think. Baseball bat, we'll grab that. I have some Mentats, but again, I don't think that's going to be enough to do what I need to do. Uh, 
Come on, give me a replenishment. All right, we're not getting a replenishment. Sucking at this little mini game. Yeah, the lock picking mini game in this isn't too bad. But the one for, uh. Oh, Doctor's Bag is what I was looking for. So, Doctor's Bag, I need forceps. I have enough medicine for it. Forceps, medical brace, scalpel, surgical tubing. That's a lot of stuff that I do not have. And then trying to remember that I need to get that is going to be even more of a pain in the butt. Alright, let me save and then I will use the Hydra and hopefully not get addicted to the darn thing. I think I'm good. And I'll try one more time at opening that damn safe. And if it doesn't, if I don't get through it, I'll just leave it and say whatever. That should be pretty close to where I need to be. Not going to be perfect, but it'll be pretty close. Alright, the game felt bad for me, and let me have it on the first try here. I swear that's the only reason it ever goes to uh, the first try, is just uh, the game feels bad for you. So it's like, oh, this this guy's tried too many times. We'll, we'll give it to him. Cows! Mad cows! Mad cow disease! Those! Well, that was an interesting little event. Honestly, if you encounter mad cows that are attacking you, you probably shouldn't be doing what I'm doing and harvesting the meat from them, but, eh, we're doing it. I don't even know if I have enough survival to make Brahmin steaks from them. Thinking about it, but that'll be something to work on eventually. All right, be sneaky this time, just in case there's actually people in here. Um, there's a bunch of traps. I'm assuming a trap. Or is it just one big thing? Let's see. That hits that. These go like this. And then the physics stops working. Keep going. Keep going. Don't break physics. No, don't break physics.
Ah. Ooh, shit. We're, we're, we're going to reload there. <laughs> and not go through all of that again. <laughs> And I don't have enough explosives to take care of that thing. Uh, actually, I shouldn't even bother with pack cigarettes, but whatever. Alright, empty syringe? No, that's not what we need for... Maybe I'll grab it just to... ...do something with it. Oh, this is the thing that blew up. I don't have repair of 33. No wonder it was so bad. It just like it went exploded like everywhere around here. I'm just gonna try that. I. Either there's another um, radio on somewhere in here, or I am losing my mind. It could be both. All right, we're out of here. We're out of this death trap. So we've checked all of this. Uh, let's save before we head out further. Having killed Lucas Sims, we've definitely guaranteed that we're not going to be, uh, base in in Megaton. We just got to get our explosives up so we can actually base in uh, Tenpenny Tower. I wish there were better options for just having a non-affiliated base, but at least in the Fallout 3 portion of the game, no. I guess technically in New Vegas we really don't have that either, because you really only have Maybe like two bases that you can do in in uh, New Vegas. Um, at least that I can think of. Vault or not vault. Um, the Lucky Thirty Eight, obviously. And then there's also the oh uh, uh, the what you call it place. The uh, the big MT main <laughs> location. Oh, that's really not the best either, because the way of getting back there kind of... Because you have to go through the whole, like, loading screen and loading screen, kind of. To me, it's... It's a little onerous on uh, trying to get back there, so... So, even though the Big MT is a base, I don't really use it. Vault 106. Kinda wanna go in there, but uh I'm focusing on what we're doing right now. 106 the Gary Vault, maybe. I think if I get that metal armor uh, repaired, I could do some decent stuff. This guy's, or this lady, has some metal armor I can get. Hello, people. I come to bring doom. Doom! Oh! 
Doom for you, not doom for me. Ow! Damn it. <laughs> Oh, and now she dies, really? What the hell? me to introduce myself. Does she not have metal armor this time? I mean, she has some kind of... Her weapon's the same, it's just her armor is Shots <laughs> just utterly failed there. What you? Oh my God! Oh, ho, oh. oh. ho!
know, this gives me ideas for like a, a stealth explosive build. Not even looking in there, you're just getting blown up. Run! Run! My gun skill was a little bit better. This would go much easier. Uh, what about the grenade rifle? I know we don't have many of them, but... for me, damn it. Look elsewhere. Scared, huh? You should be. No need to hide. It'll all be over soon. Gotcha. All right, what did she have here? 12.7 millimeter. Um, how much damage does it do? 19. That's actually not too bad. My silenced one. Uh, we'll combine the heavy incinerators. gonna say I, I didn't get my metal armor but there's people with metal armor over here two of them so actually this is at it ending up being a little bit better than uh, what I had gotten oh dear take the person on top first I think they may have a uh, 10 millimeter gun. And if I can take him out, that will. Uh... Well, I can repair my silenced gun. Let's maybe get the drop on him. Actually, I don't think it's a 10 millimeter, I think it's a magnum. Either way, it wasn't what I was looking for. You like that, huh? You like that? He wasn't murdered. He just had a heart attack. Scared, huh? You should be. 
All right, that one I think has a 10 millimeter. And the one is a submachine gun, I think. Scared, huh? You should be. Actually, maybe they're both uh, submachine guns. Let's see. That submachine gun. Grab that. That one. Oh, that one was a regular. Okay. So, metal uh, armor reinforced. Uh, it only goes up to twelve. That's kind of disappointing. I was hoping for more. So condense the submachine guns there. Further repairs on the silence 10 millimeter. My repair skill really sucks. And here's the Yaguay I was afraid of. my uh, stim packs look 28 okay just bloat flies over here oh and a protector on which somehow isn't attacking the blowflies. Don't quite understand why, but okay. Commencing attack on hostile. Apparently the Protectron was friends with the blowflies. I think there's anything super exciting at this power station, but we'll check it out. I'm trying to remember what all I need for a doctor's bag is again. Forceps. Oh, it's not pliers, is it? I don't remember. Oh, is this a regular uh Okay, this is a regular workbench. Okay. Go back down. Doctor's bag. Forceps, medical brace, surgical tubing, and scalpel. Well, we have the surgical tubing here. Oh, it's one. Ooh, that's not exactly good. Uh, medical brace. That is also heavy. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Now it's what? Scalpel and forceps. I guess I'd probably want to look at places that are like medically affiliated or whatever. Things electronics. Wonder glue. Uh, I'm not really seeing anything super useful, so we'll we'll continue on. So, like, what quest am I on? 
Oh, I'm still on this quest. Okay. Disregard. I know. Cows. Are we close to Erafu yet? Aha, take that problem. This is a little like rad scorpion uh, nest. Uh, looks radioactive. The rad scorpions are pissed off. Oh yeah, I just remembered. I can do weapon repair kits as well. Because this is uh, New Vegas. Uh, I gotta look and see what I need for those. But those are really nice if you can get them all set up. No thinking about it. Well, actually, never mind. I was thinking that these little radioactive areas, there's really not too many of them, I was going to say, out, outside of uh, Vault what, 87 or whatever that has the FEV. But then I was thinking about it, and then there's the whole White House. It's like a big radioactive pit as well, so disregard. Although, that gets me thinking. The White House gets hit with a nuke. But the Pentagon doesn't get hit? What the hell? You'd think the Pentagon would have been, like, the primary target, unless the Pentagon maybe had uh, some method of intercepting the missiles, maybe. And the White House, being, you know, the civilian target, didn't have those kind of uh, defenses. It's the only thing I can think of. Ooh, super mutants. Oh, Talon Company. Well, sorry, Talon Company, but you, uh, you were doomed there. No, Talon Company, doggo. You didn't have to meet the same fate. these super mutants. special perks for that, do I? Bug Stomper still, Lord Death still. Nope. Dang. Yeah, I don't... I if I remember, I should check and see if there's a mod for Tale of Two Wastelands that every time you get one of the achievements done, it gives some kind of perk. Because I like that about like some of the perks, the Bug Smasher and Lord Death and all that. And then you get achievements for other stuff and then it's just like, that's it. Nothing special. You know, it doesn't have to be anything big, exactly. Because a lot of those... 
are relatively small anyways. But still, they can add up over time. Speaking of things that add up over time, um, so going to Stellaris, which is one of the games I've played on the channel before, um, though it's been a little while, but Stellaris recently had an update probably a few weeks ago uh, that changed the way habitats work. So instead of building individual habitats uh, that act as separate worlds throughout a system, you have one main habitat complex and then you build buildings off of that or that contribute to that complex. Um, and I think it's actually been a good little change. But then recently with the 3.9.3 patch, they've nerfed that. Or nerfed, um, well, they've nerfed hab habitats in that there were like technologies and traditions that would give plus 10% to the number of districts that you could have. Uh, now it just adds one district. So you used to be able to like really build up, especially if you found like trinary star systems that had a lot of, well, for each star you could build a major orbital, uh, which in contributes uh, districts and all that. And then you could, for every planet, you could build a major orbital as well. So you had a lot of options to like really make good habitat areas, but yeah, then they, uh, then they ended up nerfing it, so I haven't played it yet to see how it is, but I'm, I'm a little disappointed with the way that seems. It seems like a pretty substantial little nerf. Danger, very high radiation levels. Radiation, uh, levels, cleanup in progress, the annual dose limit may be reached in only 0.5 seconds. Oh dear. All right, well, let's continue towards Girder Shade. Maybe I'll get lucky and Girder Shade will actually be a decent little settlement. Again, I can't remember if I've ever actually been there. Ow! Oh, great, there's another one. And I can't afford to carry weight wise to get any more of the uh failures. Any more of the uh, energy cells that these guys have. So can we gonna leave it be? One thing I will say, the uh, the hardcore mode in New Vegas is honestly nothing compared to survival mode in Fallout 4. Like survival mode in Fallout 4, you it really feels that way. In this, it it just is. It adds a couple hindrances, but nothing. Shade. It's something. Who's coming to attack me? Oh, Red Scorpion. At least the little ones are proving to be pretty easy to take out. I seem to have the reach to hit them without them getting to me, so.
Security shade. Ronald Laren's home. Sierra Petrovi. Oh no, I have been here because Sierra's the uh, the Nuka Curl. Uh, not Nuka Girl. <laughs> Nuka Cola Girl. Are they like the only ones that are here? Well, let's check out Ronald, I guess. Or it was. We ain't here. Well, let's check out Sierra. Then. She is asleep. I thought he was supposed to hang out and, like, protect the uh, I can talk. Uh, protect the town. But I don't see her. Or him, or whatever. But let's listen to that, uh... If you're listening to this tape, and my brains are splattered all over a wall somewhere, you've got a job to do. You need to retrieve the package and get it safely to Ronald Barn and Gurnershade. Tell him Grady sent you. Okay. You get the package, you need so to yeah, Ronald is a person I do I take it to. inside an old fire hose case in some maintenance closet at Marigold Metro Station. The key will unlock the safe that contains the package. Look for the room marked by a spinning light. You can't miss it. Good luck. No, please. They won't find you too. Wait a second. Did I find? Is that the same power station that I found before, or is that a different power station? No, that's the one I found before. I think. Or no, that's the one I found before. I'm so confused with these power stations. Yeah, this one's different. Ooh, another Dean's Electronics. We'll take that. Uh, more surgical tubing, but I'm not necessarily looking to get more of that. At least not right now. Medex, we'll grab that. Let's see. We have Psycho. We have more Medex. Uh, leather belt. We'll move you to the side here. Kinda hoping to get lucky and have them have the, uh... Um... One booklet for explosives in here. Though then again, thinking about it, that probably wouldn't have made sense. The, uh... Booklet for repair. Or not booklet, but, uh... Magazine for repair. Would have made sense in there. Not the explosive one. Probably would have to find like a military base to get that magazine. Come on, send your little psycho thing towards me. Tisk, tisk. I really thought we would be friends. All right, then that's good.
How many Nuka-Cola quarters do I have? Because I think I do have uh, the thing set. Okay, yeah. I do have it set so I can fast travel using Nuka-Cola, so. Well, Nuka-Cola Quantum, I should say, not, not just any Nuka-Cola. I'm trying to think if you can do that with uh, settings. I know there's a whole bunch of settings in, so like the latest version of Tale of Two Wastelands involves uh, installing something that adds like a whole bunch of different tweaks in that. And there's a, as part of that, you can change a bunch of those as well. I've only changed like a couple, but I know there's quite a few different options. Like, one of the ones I'm using is the, uh, like, Fallout 76, Fallout 4 sort of method where, um, if you're over-encumbered, you can still run. You just use AP for it. That just makes things so much easier. And, at least to me, it makes sense that you wouldn't necessarily, you know, be completely stopped from running. You'd just be really worn out doing it. Is this the place that has the robots? Maybe the one robot companion? Let's find out. Oh, that reminds me though. Being in hardcore, companions will die, won't they? Oh no, this is the Dunwich building. Crazy people. Probably a bunch of ghouls in there. Oh, do I want to go into this place? Not exactly. But I might. Danger. Oh, geez, not another one. Aha, I am quick. Too quick for you. Although, thinking about being quick. Yeah, this is light armor. I wonder if I should get the, uh, the one perk that makes you quicker in light armor. If I'm going to use kind of this build with the Chinese stealth armor. Something I'm thinking about. Not 100% there yet, but I'm thinking about it. Alright, let's go in here. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any loot that's worth like picking up here. Oh, why must you tempt me with Nuka-Cola? Dropping the flamer. I'll take the Nuka Cola over the flamer. This place is haunted. Ghosts! I will say, I. I'd like to see the uh, more mysterious fallout at some point. Kind of dealing with the uh, either like psychers or more supernatural stuff. You know, there, there's a lot of things that I think could be covered uh, pretty well. Also, we're going to now because the sword is a little rough. Almost, almost to where I need to be to level up. I think I will do explosives to get that to 25 and then do, do more stealth.
Of course, I'm going to be very tempted to grab more of uh, toughness. But I think I'll just have to settle for, uh, well, I don't know what my next bird will be. Do I do damage or do I do toughness? Uh, I mean, if I do light armor, I can't decide. We'll maybe figure out. Derek, hello! If you knew uh, I was still streaming, would have rated you. Sorry, man. It's all right. It's all right. Now, what were you uh, streaming? Was it Kenshi? Kenshi still? Okay. Yeah, I've uh, I burnt myself out on Kenshi again. Honestly, the big thing that Kenshi needs for me is uh, it really needs like more worlds, I guess. Or, like, a randomizer for the worlds or something. Oh, shit, run! Especially with the, uh, with the Project C'Thun mod. I think a randomizer and then Project C'Thun together would be very nice, but... Maybe that'll be something we can maybe get in Kenshi 2 or something. Now, Zerj, how much, uh, how many hours do you have in Kenshi? Because I think I have... 200-something, if I remember correctly? I'd check if it wouldn't screw over, uh, writing Kenshi for affiliate. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Six hundred and seventy-one hours. Ooh, yeah. I don't think I'm that. <laughs> I don't think I'm anywhere near that. <laughs> I don't think, anyways. So let's see. What is my? I know Warhammer Two is like two thousand something hours. Um. What else? What else? Is it Skyrim's... Oh, Stellaris. Stellaris is over a thousand hours. Uh, Warhammer 3, I think, is like 400-something now. Zarek says, I'm a crab tournament run, but I never did it before, so I'm struggling very hard. Crab tournament run? What's involved with that? <laughs> Why am I feeling lost in this place? Yeah, that's all been investigated. That's all been done. I know there's like another level to this place. I think anyways. personal entry. I know I've done this before, but I can't remember what all was involved. I don't like the look of this place. I don't like the smell. Give me the creeps. Don't want to risk a shot at the throat till I know it's in there. Sneaking into me. Uh, let's see. Zayat says, you settle in an area where the crab raiders are, and they call for a crab tournament, which sends waves of crab raiders and crabs at you. They eventually send bigger crabs with special names at you. Hmm. Now, does it eventually stop if you, like, survive all those waves and they become friends with you or something, or, uh... 
Or does it just get progressively uh, harder? They, oh, they sent the final wave, they send raiders and the crabinator. <laughs> what the hell is the crabinator? Is it just a really big crab or uh Oh, they ally with you at the end? Okay. Well, that's kind of neat then. Just a huge grab? Okay. Yeah, I, uh... I've generally avoided the crab raiders. Not sure exactly why all the time, but outside of their good armor, like their good armor is really the main thing I go for. Because the crabs themselves, yeah, they can be kind of neat, but they are just so, uh, so slow. So traveling the map with the crabs, unless you are just outright, like, picking them up, is, uh, tedious, so. Oh, here's all the other entries. And then, what the hell was that junk that I picked up here? Mm -hmm. Scrap electronics? Maybe that was it. I'll drop that. Oh, the green plate is actually what I picked up. Uh, grab the scrap electronics, because I think that's one of the things for building the weapon repair kits. Alright, I'm leaving this place. Sarge so says, I've had so many people come into my chat and RP as a crab raider. It's great. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, if it's a great way to uh, interact with your community, then all the better. Yeah, I've been doing some... Uh, I've been trying to get back into streaming a little bit again, doing uh, Fallout New Vegas. It's really only on Tuesdays. I just don't feel like I have as much time anymore. So, even though I am off on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it's just wanting to do other things as well. And not necessarily be all social and stuff. So, I've been just kind of, uh... Holy shit, no. Run! Run! Oh, I made a mistake. Made a horrible mistake. Oh, <laughs> no. Okay, that caution. Good. So it says, yeah, no problem, man. Thank you for understanding. Yeah, it's uh, kind of one of those situations where don't always know what to do exactly, but I felt like streaming the uh, Tale of Two Wastelands with New Vegas here. To me, it's definitely the best way to play New Vegas and uh, Fallout 3. Although I still actually haven't, even though I've done Tale of Two Wastelands, like, I think this is like my fourth or fifth playthrough that I've started and gotten, you know, like, past level five. Um. Oh, my food is out, that's why. Uh, we'll just do that. Yeah, even though I've done, uh, like, quite a few playthroughs, I, uh, for some reason, I still haven't found out how to get to New Vegas itself. So, that's at least the one goal I want to do. I haven't gotten to look it up yet, either, so. I don't think it's the, uh... The one trolley guy, or not trolley, uh, like the river ferry. I don't think that's it, because that wouldn't really make sense as a means to get to uh, New Vegas. I know I've, one time I have completed the main quest, but I don't think that opened up anything for it. So I don't know if you necessarily have to complete the main quest to go to New Vegas. So, it'll be some exploration. I was initially planning to not do any of the main settlements, but thinking about it, I kind of need the kind of need some place to set up a 
a base. So I'm gonna do 10 penny tower, blow up Megaton, that sort of thing. Speaking of 10 penny tower, let's see if we can find it. Here it is. I'm gonna go there, find it. I have the explosive now to go back to uh, Megaton. So it says, I own New Vegas, but it's been years since I last played it. Yeah, it's uh, it's something that I probably do a playthrough on about once a year. And it's gone around that time. The last time I did it was with, uh, was probably on my Xbox uh, Series X. Oh, that was a fail. Oh god. I am failing miserably. Slugger hit that homer. <laughs> All right, grab that, grab this, grab that. And yeah. All right, metal armor reinforced is pretty much there. So, you know what? Let's go for it. Even though we're not going to quite have our uh, our stealth stuff for the moment. But Save and then we'll go into this power station here. Unless this is the power station I've already been at and it just spawned people again. Uh, this is the one I was just at. It just spawned people. Okay. Ten Penny Tower. I just saw you. Of course, now I'm in the lower part of the valley, so I can't quite see where it is. I think this is it, though. Now, Zerich, have you ever uh, have you ever played um, with the Tale of Two Wastelands mod that kind of combines both Fallout Three and New Vegas? Oh, not again! It says I have not. New Vegas is the only Fallout I've played. Okay. As far as uh, as far as iterations of the game, New Vegas on its own is pretty good. Um, for me, the very first one I played was Fallout Three. Since then, I have actually I think I've completed all of the mainline ones. Um, I haven't completed the story in 76. I've played some of 76, but honestly didn't really like it. I've played a little bit of Fallout Tactics, which is... <sighs> it's an interesting sort of game, but it, it hasn't necessarily kept my interest. There is enough of a uh, difference on some of the stuff that it kind of turns me off a little bit. Um, there is uh, Fallout Brotherhood of Steel, which was on console. Oh, that is a mess. Honestly, at least at the start of the game, because that's the only, that's the furthest I've ever gone. Uh, Fallout Brotherhood of Steel is pretty much just like, it just feels like a completely different game in a completely different setting. 
it really does not feel like Fallout at all, so. Um, but yeah, played Fallout 3, New Vegas a whole bunch of times. Played uh, Fallout 4. Initially, I played Fallout 4 on the uh, PlayStation 4, and then eventually got it for PC. Which was quite a difference because on PlayStation 4, the, I mean, it, it was okay when I first played it, but since then, I would not go back to it because the FPS is just horrible. Creatures. have such horrible loot. Doesn't matter which Fallout you play, they, they're always bad. But yeah, if you uh, if you ever get the chance of wanting to uh, do New, New Vegas again on PC, I definitely recommend uh, getting Fallout 3 and then doing, uh... I mean, it, the installation is a little bit of a pain to do for uh, Tale of Two Wastelands, but it's definitely worth it. It's just such a different experience, especially having the gameplay from New Vegas, which is for the most part better than Fallout 3. But being able, being able to take that into the Fallout 3 um, setting and all that. Because honestly, I do like the Capital Wasteland as a setting. Um, I like Fallout 3's main story better than I do for New Vegas. For me, New Vegas is benefits from all of the, uh, the side quests and all that. And the companions. Companions are so much better. Zaret says, well, it is two different game studios, but same franchise. True. Yeah, New Vegas came from uh, Obsidian. And the Obsidian that was, like, very good Obsidian. Although, always rushed, because... Yeah, same same issue with uh, Knights of the Old Republic too. I can stand here all day yelling at you through this damn speaker if I have to. I've already told you Tenpenny won't allow zombies to live here. Who the hell are you calling a zombie? You're definitely not here. That's for damn sure. For the last time, no zombies allowed. Can't you tell the difference between me and a feral? Fine. I'll show you the goddamn difference. Just you wait. You'll get yours, all of you. Hold someone, please. Water? No. I'm not giving away my water. I thought I told you to get the hell out of here. Tenpenny doesn't want your goddamn caps. And I don't want the goddamn headache. For the last time, get your rotten, ugly, goddamn ghoul ass off Mr. Tenpenny's private property. I don't think you're talking to the person you think you are. Oh. Thought you were that damn ghoul. Well then, back to business as usual. Ahem. You were trespassing on Alistair Tenpenny's private property. Renters an official business only. Uh, I can help take care of that little ghoul problem for you. Is that so? And why should I believe that? You ever kill a ghoul before? I just killed a whole bunch of them back there, but yes. Is that so? Then I'm sure you can handle yourself out there in the wasteland just fine. Are you done wasting my time? Um... 
Maybe you'd accept this hundred caps as insurance of my good behavior? Perhaps you'll fit in around here better than I thought. Alright, I'll take your money. But don't press your luck. I got my eye on you. Don't bother tenpenny on the other residents. If you so much as sneeze in the wrong direction... I guess I probably didn't have to do this, because if I, uh... If I had just gone Welcome to Ten Penny Tower. back to uh, Megaton and set up the thing and then came back, probably could have gotten in for free, but oh well. Alright, is there a doctor around here? Charmed, I'm sure. That is not a doctor. Maybe it's some. Maybe it's on this side? <laughs> Did you just pay a speaker on the wall a hundred caps? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no, I assume the way it's it's done is uh you say you'll pay a hundred caps and then you go through and then you talk to Gustavo here. And then when you talk to him is the technical where it's dropped off. That's my assumption anyways. I don't know if it's right, but it's the assumption. Doctor. Where's the doctor? To 11 p.m. Oh, there you are. Oh, this is just like the doctor's offices of old. Having to wait for the doctor. Hi. This is the Tenpenny Wellness Clinic, and I am Dr. Banfield. I keep the residents healthy. Uh, being a doctor is a great service to a community. Yes, the healing art is a rewarding occupation. Is there something I can help you with? Uh, let's see. I could use some help. I'm surprised you made it in here. I can fix you up, but it'll run you 100 caps. What do you say? Sure. All right, hold still. Edgar. All better now, you big baby. Can I get back to work now? You're calling me a big baby? <laughs> That's Call all. Me, then. Try not to get killed out there. <laughs> That's wonderful bedside manner. Let's call your patient a big baby. I think Mr. Lin is asking for trouble by teasing all the male guards to all right, um, Boutique La Chic, I think, has, is like general. Version. Welcome to Boutique La Chic. I'm Lydia Mont. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice place you got here. I want to do business with you. All right, she's got some caps. Uh, so 10 millimeter shotgun I'll get rid of. Assault rifle I kind of want to get rid of, but we'll do the grenade rifle. Get rid of that. And you know what? Get rid of the assault rifle. And then Raider Armor, Raider Armor. It's been a pleasure doing Edgar. Alright. So we will go back to Megaton, activate the bomb, come back here, we'll watch it blow up, take possession of our uh, new home, and then call it a night. Now, Zerich, are you, are you aware of what happens in uh, Fallout 3? Or of uh, potential things that can happen in Fallout 3 here? Every I shall be blind with his glory. Because, yes, we're, we're going to see some... Uh, some fireworks here. Also, double check. That did take my Nuka Cola Quantum, right? Uh, I think it did? I really wasn't paying super attention. Hey!
Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Burke is expecting you. He's waiting for you on the balcony. Uh, I have to go. Mind yourself now. Oh, that's not it. Oh, he opened the door for me. Okay. Thank you, mister. The pulse charge is rigged. Excellent. Excellent! Ah, the anticipation is palpable, isn't it? When you have finished savoring the moment, you may have the honor of pressing the button. Oh, and mind your eyes. It'll be brighter. Brighter than bright, he says. Let's take the binoculars. And get a nice view of it. Uh, let's make a separate save. So that if we ever want to relive this moment, we have it available. See the old man is out to watch as well. Fancy that! A visitor! I seldom get visitors, which is a tiresome shame, because I'm usually relentlessly bored out of my right mind. All of these confounded people fluster about like I'm made of eggshells and about to fall to pieces in any moment. I'm surprised they even let you in. So, what do you think of my fine tower here? It's quite the jewel of the wasteland, isn't it? I dare say I'm quite proud of it myself. Indeed, I'm uh, very impressed. Right, oh, when I saw this place jutting up out of the horizon, I knew what I had to do. I hired some muscle, and we got this place fixed up right quick. I had the great fortune to run into Mr. Burke, an absolute gem of a man. He certainly has a way of getting done what needs to get done, doesn't he? Then it was a matter of getting the right type of tenants with the right type of assets, and the rest is, as they say, history. I've been wondering, why blow up Megaton? I complained offhand one day about how I thought that heap of metal on the horizon was a bit of an eyesore. Mr. Burke offered to take care of it. Burke is such an agreeable man, isn't he? I don't know how I got along without him. I practically don't have to think about things anymore. He takes care of everything. I seldom even have to ask. He's a real go-getter, that one. We need more men like him if we're going to rebuild the world. Hmm. I'll just say nothing, <laughs> like I did back in uh, Megaton. You're an odd one, aren't you? Why do people keep saying that? <laughs> Alright, push the button. No, the cup! I like how Burke is like thrown about, but I'm just like standing here. You lost karma. It's beautiful. Well done, Mr. Burke. What a grand display of fireworks. I almost wish there was another nuke we could detonate. You don't see that very often. I'm glad you're pleased. I had to help you first. Quite right. And you are to offer him the reward we discussed. Now, all this bright light and wind has given me quite a thirst. Where's my scotch? I'll send someone up as soon as I've completed business with our friend here. Right out, and be quick about it. I haven't been dry in years. I'd hate to start now. Are there people oh, who God. literally are like that? What transcendent beauty. Who never go sober. What pure Allow me to collect myself as I'm sure you're anxious to collect your payment. I have been asked to extend to you an invitation to reside at Tenpenny Tower. Here's the key and deed to your new master suite. It's on the top floor, first door on your right from the elevator. <laughs> Enjoy your new accommodations. Oh, and if you wish to spruce the place up a bit, speak with Lydia Montenegro in the boutique Le Chic. <laughs> Thousand caps, got a home. Excellent. All right. It was a one. Um, 
Did I get healed up there? Inspiration. I think I got healed up there. Interesting. Alright, first one to the right from the elevator. Got our own little robot. Got bed. Even have our own little uh, exit to look at things from out here. Uh, but yeah, I think that is a good point to end it for today. Uh, so we got a little place to drop off stuff. Uh, let's see. Then we'll drop off the stealth armor for now. Ammo, ammo, ammo. The 12.7 millimeter will drop that off. Same with the heavy incinerator. I'm holding on to the shock sword because I want to repair that. Uh, pulse grenade, we'll drop that off. And I think that's really about it for that. A lot of ammo we can drop off. Alright, so yeah, that's a good point to end for today. Thanks for watching, folks. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me here on Twitch. Spear Weaver, thank you for the follow. Speak of the, uh, speaking of that. <laughs> um, we'll pick this up next week, and, uh, not sure what the plan will be for next week. Oh, wait, no. We did the bomb. Yeah, I don't know what, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out next week. But, yeah, thanks for watching, folks. Jer Zerch, thank you for hanging out in chat, and I will see you all later.